What is depression? Why are so many people depressed? Depression is the natural byproduct of leading a lifestyle that is disharmonious with cosmic laws because there are certain cosmic laws that aren't very hard to see aren't even that more that difficult to implement because inside of you the body actually wants to live harmoniously with the elements with the way with the Tao this is why you get sleepy when it's nighttime because your body actually wants to go to sleep because it actually wants to obey cosmic laws it is part of nature but of course inside the body is a consciousness which filters reality through the mind and it's so your mind says well but i'm gonna go out with my friends i'm gonna go get an ice cream i'm gonna go to the bar that's the mind but see the body is already telling you relax let's go to sleep here let's not disobey cosmic laws so depression is a long overdue bill basically a bill that you haven't been paying on time accumulates eventually and then somebody reports you to the to the credit bureau and then somebody comes knocking on your door asking you for money I used to be a lot more uh, brutal back in the days, you know, the, 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 the bill, bill collectors uh, were uh, sometimes violent, but that was back in the day. Now it's not exactly like that, but you get the analogy. So then you feel depressed because you have been disobeying cosmic laws for a long time. And now this is what you get and this is what you live with. You live with depression. So... What happens if you obey cosmic laws is that you harmonize yourself with the intelligence, with the infinite intelligence that permeates through every living being, through every everything, everything in this universe. And as a result, you gain access to that infinite intelligence and then it flows through you in such a way that actually makes you happy and joyful and feel well and compassion and da 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 all the positive traits that we are all deeply looking to embody. Uh, that is also a natural result of obeying cosmic laws. So, so many people are depressed because so many people are disobeying cosmic laws, cosmic laws most of them unknowingly most people do not know father forgive them for they not know what they do most people do not know they have no idea if they had an idea they would start to implement even little bit of changes small changes but most people have no idea i had no idea when i was going uh, when i was in university i had no idea that uh the body feels better if you sleep early and you wake up early. I had no idea. I, I, I did not know. So then I was staying up until the next day, basically. I was watching the sunrise. Well, I wasn't even watching the sunrise because I wasn't really connected with the elements. But I would sort of see that there's sun and then that's when I would go to bed. Of course, that was during those miserable, depressed years that I had. But I didn't know. If I knew, as soon as I found out, I actually began to implement changes. You know, I'm like, oh, really? And then somebody explained to me that whole circadian rhythm, how it works, how your body is, is, is plugged into the circadian rhythm. I was like, I didn't know. I didn't know. I just didn't know. And then I start to obey cosmic laws. And guess what? More energy through the system, more force, uh, less depression, less misery, less anxiety due to implementing a basic cosmic law in the equation. So then to the degree in which you're depressed is, it, is to the degree in which you are disobeying cosmic laws. Let's not blame the reptilians. Let's not blame the negative entities and the fourth dimensional demons. Let's not blame uh, the governments. Okay? 
that's just they're playing the role that's the game okay no you want to be empowered so then you want to take responsibility for your depression you want to stand up for it you want to say well i'm depressed i am causing this i am or i am the effect of this who who caused it it doesn't matter bottom line i am depressed and i could do something about it and that's that's empowerment that's taking responsibility so let's not play the blame game here. Let's not, play, you know, of course, of course, it's because the way society is constructed. And, and, and it be, of course, it's deliberate. Of course, of course, because that's how these, you know, fourth dimensional entities feed off. You know, they, they're, basically, they're basically controlling this whole place uh, or have been uh, for some time now, you know, because this is the Kali Yuga. But of course, it's deliberate. Of course, there's, you know, Benevolent intelligence behind the design in which keeps human beings slaved, enslaved, and stuck in old paradigms. Of course, living disharmoniously with the Tao. Of course, but okay, you find out about that. Now what? Let's go to psychotherapy, spend five years and hundreds of thousands of dollars just to talk about it? No. You need to do something about it. Okay, so to the degree in which to the degree in which you're depressed, if your depression is is uh, 10 being the highest, 0 being the lowest. If your depression is 10, then that means you are disobeying every cosmic law in, 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 in existence. And even the ones that don't exist, you're disobeying them too. Okay? If your depression is a 5, then you're maybe obeying some cosmic laws, disobeying cosmic laws. Okay. So, if you're really depressed, then you're really disobeying cosmic laws. Oh, but, you know, I was really brutally beaten up as a kid and, and uh, you know, I was sexually, uh, I was sexually molested, etc. So I have the right to be depressed, right? You know, no, I, you know, it, it has nothing to do with, well, no, it, of course it does. Because if you follow cosmic laws, then you can begin to go back to your childhood traumas and heal yourself. So it, it really starts with obeying cosmic laws. If you're super depressed, then you're super in, in super disobedience, in, in disharmony. Okay, so what do you do? What do you do if you're depressed? What is the first step? Well, get, get to bed early and, and, and wake up early. You don't have to be super early. Just any t you know, you don't have to even sleep super early. You know, anytime before midnight is good. Okay, just make sure you're in bed before midnight. And make sure you're up, you know, no later than seven, seven, eight at the most. Okay. I mean, you know, the most you want to push it is 12 to eight, 12 midnight to eight. Okay. That no more than that though. Don't push it anymore. You know, that's like, if you really, you know, you really want to do that. I, I do that. I, I go 11 to 7.30 or seven, but I need less sleep nowadays. So I go 12, 12 to seven, 7.30, you know, something like that. One even one till seven, I I can I could do just fine one to seven. But nevertheless, you understand you you catch my drift here. You catch my drift. Get to bed early. Get to and, and wake up early. You develop that habit because if you're staying, I mean, if you you you're way plugged out of the circadian rhythm here, how do you expect to kick kick off the depression? It's not that easy to be depressed and be up uh, up with the sun every day. It, you you have to kind of try hard to be de like depressed. You might still feel nah icky and existential crisis but you're not not depression if you're if you're up early you know no and then move that's another cosmic law the human body is the the human the human being is the longest walking animal we're supposed to be walking so move 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 just move get off your ass and move okay just movement 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 so up in bed early up early and movement now let's talk about food. Let's talk about food. Because if you're eating that garbage that they give you in in schools and stuff, uh, then there are or you're drinking like tap water, there are certain chemicals there that are gonna numb you. Okay, that's just that's just you know again it's part of the deliberate design of the whole matrix. There are certain things that are deliberately put in those foods. I mean, why do you think when you go to the supermarket, there's a bazillion ingredients in there? You think they're all for taste? No, they can get, they can hijack your taste buds with a, with maybe, you know, a few of those things on the ingredient label. But there are certain things there that are for other purposes. 
you know they're there to decalcify your pineal gland and numb your nervous system numb your senses okay so you know it's simple I know we talk you know if you want to go to the extreme obviously then you eat fruits you know which if you're ready for that level you eat fruits and then you know you go even beyond you start to eat liquid you drink mostly liquids you know and then breatharian you know of course that's for different videos right but bottom line as whole as possible okay as 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 holistic as possible you know it doesn't have to be organic it's preferable that it's organic but don't make the excuse you know just things that grow you know if you eat things that grow even nuts and seeds like you know they're not optimal food for humans but at least they grow you know if they have phytic acid there's a lot of stuff in there anyway i'm not going to be a mr nutritionist here uh but it's a good start if you're depressed i'm not going to tell you go straight to fruits or liquids because you know you're probably eating like a lot of junk stuff right now so you got to do it a bit by bit so just holistic stuff okay things that grow let's just put it that way you know if your diet primarily consists of things that grow and then you could begin to improve from there and then and then even more important actually it's just eating frequency once or twice a day okay if you're constantly putting food in your in your system throughout the day uh yeah that's like that's not going to be cool that's not going to be cool that's you're numbing you're depressing the energy I mean, look at the word depression, depressed, depressed. What that implies is there is, that it implies, and truthfully it is, that there is a certain, it's a force, you know, again, if you follow cosmic laws that you feel that force through you, you feel the energy, energy, that's what it is. The force is energy. So depression is going out of your way to depress the way. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like, it really requires, like you have to try to be depressed. That's what's funny. If you don't try, Wu Wei, the, if you just don't try, when nothing is done, nothing is left undone, that's when you're full of the divine force of the energy. But you actually have to try to depress the, what is already, the way is, energy is. You are energy. If you are left to be in obedience of cosmic laws, you will have all the energy in the world. So you have to try, depress, depression, depressed. We're pressing what already is. So let's go out of our way. Let's eat that food. Let's do this. Let's uh, sleep, uh, stay up when we're supposed to be asleep and let's sleep when we're supposed to be up. And also spend more time in the organic matrix because you're plugged into the organic matrix at all times. What do I mean by the organic matrix? Like this, trees, clouds, mountains, uh, beach, uh, barefoot on the ground barefoot on the ground okay there's a lot going on there like right now my feet being on the earth there's like a host of reactions happening some ions are exchanging and and it's balancing my energy field and then there's the sunshine of course hard to be depressed when you're constantly getting sunshine i'll tell you again it doesn't mean you're going to be like a ball of happiness it's a, it takes a lot more than that a lot more than just sunshine but i'm saying it's not, you have to try not to be depressed if you're, if you're getting like lots of sunshine. You still, you know, you still feel like, uh, you know, icky, blah, 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 because other shit you haven't figured out, you're figuring out, let's say, okay? You're still sorting some shit out, you know? But at least the sun will help. At least you'll, uh, you know, it, it won't be depression. It'll be more like maybe, you know, just uh, angst, existential angst, if you will, but not depression. There are certain things if you just do right away, it'll kick off the depression. Go for a run, for example. Just go run for 20 minutes. It's, it's like a band-aid solution, you know, because then the depression, you know, it'll, it'll probably come back in because there's deeper causes we'll talk about. You know, but I'm giving you the basics here. You start with the basics. Okay, you, because you start to obey these cosmic laws. Okay, now you feel a little better. Now you're much more likely to look for solutions to the problems as opposed to look at the problem and see it as a permanent thing that I can't do anything about. That's the depression mentality. Been there many times, trust me. You, you don't see solutions. You see problems that are here to stay forever. But when you start to obey cosmic laws, then you feel your depression goes down from 10 to f f 6, okay? But now it's at 6. Now it's almost halved. Because I'm obeying cosmic laws. 
Sure, I still got these childhood traumas, this and that. Okay, but now, instead of me wallowing, I got to maybe a uh, journal and a pen with, with me here. And I'm going to uh, figure out why, uh, why I have so much anger in me or why I have so much sadness or why I hate my dad, why I hate my mom or why uh, every time I get in a relationship, uh, this, this and that happens. So, so yeah, now you're more, more likely because now you're following cosmic laws. Of course, when you follow cosmic laws, you get inspired. You spend long enough in the organic matrix, time long enough in the organic matrix, and then you begin to feel uh, you begin to feel uplifted and inspired. Now, when you're constantly spending time within the inorganic matrix, that is uh, technology, electric, electronics, uh, cities, pollution, anything artificial, artificial light, uh, that's really messing up with your energy field. Because it's all information. It alters the information field, makes it disharmonious. And then that disharmony results in aches and pains and headaches and fatigue and lack of energy, essentially. Because the Tao is depressed. That's what depression is. It's depressing what is. Going out of your way to depress what is already. What is is energy, your energy. You just get out of the way. All you're doing is you're getting out of the way by obeying cosmic laws. You know, like don't don't eat late. Don't eat and go to bed. You have terrible sleep. You're going to wake up in the middle of the night. You're going to be thirsty. If you can even sleep, you have a big meal. I can't, you can't sleep. You can't sleep. You might pass out. And then two hours later, you wake up and you're burbing and farting and all kinds of things. Because you ate so much, so you pass out. Because it's just so overwhelming for the system. But you wake up two hours later and boom. Can't even go back to bed because you've got all kinds of things going on here. Disobeying cosmic laws. You know, should eat no later than sunset. So it's just pay attention, pay attention, pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention. Get outside, get 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 uh, get some fresh air. Now we do all these things. Now we can go deeper. Oh, I have been sexually molested when I was a child and I depressed it. I depressed that emotion because again, it's an emotion. There's a lot of joy, tears, sorry, sadness, frustration, resentment. Of course, but you depress it. You just ignore it. But now you can let it out. And now we can deal with it. Now we can release the traumas because, you know, if you're depressed, not only are you feeling miserable, you're actually depressing the emotions that want to come out, which is anger, frustration, sadness, resentment, hurt, vulnerability. You're depressing it. So you let it out. And then, and then now, you know, the depression begins to go down from six to five to four. Now you're, you're at least in a, in, a, in, in a situation. Oh, okay, but my parents... Oh, but I'm, I'm a teenager and my parents are tyrants. Look, we're in a different world now. I could give you a pass on that when, when it was my time. Because I, I didn't have, we didn't have like, we didn't have all this knowledge, man. If I had all these YouTubers, like if I was watching this myself when I was 17, my whole trajectory in life would have been completely different. But we didn't have that. I, I, I grew up as a teenager between uh, 2005 and what, 2009. YouTube came out 2007, you know, and, and it didn't really start getting big until later. I didn't know, like, I didn't start getting on YouTube until maybe 2009, 2010. Okay, it was too late by then, I, you know, but it was all for the best anyway, because it's all divinely planned and perfect anyway, so no complaints. But nevertheless, I'm not going to give you a pass on that because... You could do a lot now as a teenager with all this wealth of information, which you clearly have access to. Otherwise, you wouldn't even watch this video. You wouldn't even be on this channel. I'm not even going to give you a pass there. I'm not going to give you a pass because you have a lot of energy right now. Get on NoFap, cultivate that sexual energy, and do all the things we talk about here. Live, obey cosmic laws. You have insane energy as a teenager. Insane, insane, like insane. Okay, so cultivate that and, and use it. You know, my parents are tyrants and this and that. I, again, that's it, no, not in this, not in this time, not in this time with all this information, all this exposure to all these alternative ways of living. You're a teenager. You should damn well be on that right now. Okay, you sh you no time for depression, baby. No time for depression. Okay, I don't mean to belittle it. 
I mean, I had suicidal thoughts at some point. If, if I come across as I'm belittling this, absolutely not. Wouldn't have talked about it for 20 minutes going on, probably for half an hour. It's an important topic. It's an important topic, right? Lots of people are depressed more and more every day. More and more every day. So, uh, ultimately now, let's now, let, now, 20 minutes after, let's get down to it. The real, the real cause of depression is separation. Okay, that's the deepest, deepest, deepest level of depression. Feeling separate. So, people who live in family structures are less likely to be depressed because they feel connected to their family. And that comes with its own pathology, by the way. Because then you, you, you're, if, what if, you know, you, family politics and stuff. I'm not, but I'm saying they're a lot less likely. Okay, they're less likely. People who live in family units who are connected with their family members, connected, are less likely to be depressed. Okay, because they feel connected. And again, that, you know, it, it, that could come with its own pathology and its own problems. But nevertheless, they do have a sense of connection. People who are in healthy relationships are less likely to be depressed. So then the goal becomes to feel connected somehow. And there's a lot of ways to do that. If you find something to do, a way to serve people in the world, you will feel so connected. I feel so connected because I make these videos. I can't not make these videos. I have to make them because I feel so connected. I put it out there. There's You guys see it. Then I get comments, messages on Instagram. I'm constantly communicating with you guys. Constant communication. I don't feel disconnected at all. I feel very connected because I make these videos. So I never feel the sense of separation because I feel like I'm a, like a part of a greater thing that's happening, all this awakening and the shift and it's a very exciting time and I'm really happy to be here, happy to be playing this role, happy to do this, happy to learn, happy to teach, happy to do it all because I feel connected. I'm like, wow, I see the divine connection. There's, I, I talk to the ETs. I feel where this is going. I sense where the shift is happening. It's con I'm connected. I'm in awe of the complexity of existence and how everything's so connected at every level, at the macro level and the macro level. So when you feel connected, you, it's now we really delve deep into the, the, the root cause of the depression. So you obey cosmic laws. And the more you obey them, the more you feel connected because you're obeying cosmic laws. Oh, wow, I got sunshine. I feel better. Oh, wow, I woke up early. I got some fresh air. I spent time in nature. I feel better. So connection, you see? I'm connected to the earth. I'm connected to the sun. I'm connected to the, to the planets, to the stars. Go stargaze. I do it every night here. I, I get the, 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 the wonderful, I'm not, you know, it's a privilege in this, in this 3D dense Kali Yuga. It's a privilege to stargaze, but it, it, it really is just the way it is. You know, before all this messiness that's happening and all this harmony, like you looked up and there are stars, right? So, but I guess it is a privilege in this very disconnected world. Uh, but again, you feel your connection with, with all these elements and you're like, yeah, it's fascinating, it's amazing, it's awe-inspiring. And so ultimately then, it's about connection, really. So if we feel connected, then we cannot be depressed. It is impossible. The connection frequency, the oneness frequency, depression cannot exist on that frequency. It is only the lack of which is illusion. So depression then is an illusion. That's the conclusion because separation is an illusion. You think you're separate and that's why you're depressed. It's an illusion. Therefore, depression is an illusion because this ease is an illusion. It is an illusion because the minute you feel your connection with everything, everything, you're connected to the, your, 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 your fellow beings on this planet. You're connected to the stars and the sun is a star. You're connected to the moon, you're connected to the trees, uh, you're connected to the earth, you're connected to the air, you're connected, you're plugged in, you're hooked, your body is of the earth. And, and, and it's, and then that, but that's also only one small level of being connected. Because then you're connected to your ET family, your extraterrestrial family, your soul home. You're connected to your guides, your fourth dimensional family and fifth dimensional family. And, and all of that is connected and intertwined. And it's like, oh my God, it blows your mind. It blows your mind. And so when, you, when you're like that, well, you can't be depressed. You can only be in awe. 
You can only be enjoy. Enjoy. You can only be enjoy. There's only joy at that, at that frequency. Nothing but joy and playfulness. And so it ultimately, the conclusion then would be it is about connecting. And so obeying cosmic laws would be the first step because that is the step that's going to begin to connect you with all your, your surroundings. From there on, there's no end to the connection. There's no end to the mystery. There's no end to how it all is connected. But there's only awe and joy and wonder and expansiveness. And uh, yeah, it's incredible. So take responsibility. Take ownership for your depression. It's good to know why you're depressed. It's good to know why all these things are happening and, and how society is constructed and how, you know, the, 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 the negative, the dark side of the force is uh, intelligent in its deliberate ways of causing disharmony. And, and I, I have admiration for their intelligent beings too. They're God too. Their consciousness just choosing the dark side. S service to self. And it's kind of even pretty, pretty, uh, pretty, uh, you know, interesting and admirable, I would say. It's like a, you admire the work, you know, because they're kind of, they, well, they're not really your enemy. But in the game, I suppose they're the dark force, you're the light force. So, you know, that makes you enemies, even though there's no enemies because they're you. And eventually everybody comes to the source. You get what I'm saying. But what I'm trying to say is you admire you admire, you, you admire their work. They're intelligent beings too. You know, and you see, wow, like they actually understand this so well that they've constructed this matrix where everything is disharmonious. Wow, geniuses, evil geniuses, right? That's a, it's a evil, that's the evil genius archetype. So, uh, yeah, even that, you see the oneness of it. So, uh, you know, it's good to know. It's good to bring awareness also. Uh, but uh, you want to do something about it. And that's what's most important is the practical action. So I give you guys lots of practical things here. Connect. And if you find your mission, your thing, and you share it with the world, you know. Like a lot of people, they, they you know, I can think of a lot of like musicians who overdosed and stuff. They shared their uh, gift with the world. They felt invigorated. Wow. But they failed to obey cosmic laws. So they, can, they did drugs. They stayed up all night, every day, you know. And so then they ended up committing suicide or overdosing or this or that. So they had part of the equation figured out, which is, you know, you share because you, if you feel one. But they didn't still, still didn't obey cosmic laws because this is a stamina game. You want to do these things consistently. If you obey cosmic laws consistently, then you cultivate energy consistently. And now whew, you're flying in the sky, baby. So, yeah. Uh, that's about it. Uh, so much gratitude for our patrons for supporting this journey, supporting this asshole here with his rants. <laughs> so thank you to all the people who uh, also supported on PayPal, uh, the one-time donations and everything, the generosity that I uh, received there, some of the big donations. Uh, if you would like to contribute, you uh, find this content helpful and you have a couple of bucks a month to throw or just something to throw, one-time thing. There are links in the description. Feel free to do so. All is appreciated. Uh, and uh, side mobile Instagram. I've been talking to a lot of you guys. I love it. Keep it coming. Uh, and uh, that's about it. Until next time, may the force be with you.